I'm Natalie. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here today with Tiffany and Ellington. <laughs> and we're going to kind of talk about something that a lot of moms experience today, but they don't want to experience. And that is nipple pain and nipple cracking. So, Tiffany, can you tell me a little bit about your story and what happened in the first couple of days of breastfeeding? And no one really talked to me about breastfeeding that much, or it was just assumed that it would be a really natural thing. For me, it was kind of a lot harder than pushing her out almost. When we first started, we were latching only on the right side. It was just more comfortable, and in the hospital, we kind of, um, it kind of almost just got forced on that side in a way. So she did a lot of damage to the nipple. It got really cracked. It got a blister and then that kind of cracked into a crevice. Um, and then we kept feeding on that side and feeding on that side. So it kind of didn't have a chance to heal. The left side, we had a little more trouble latching onto, so it didn't get as damaged, but um, it still has a little bit, a little bit of cracking. Yeah. So now, we're working on healing the nipple. Healing the nipple while keeping the baby at the breast. So this video is for people who are able to work through the nipple pain. It's not always possible. Um, every situation with sore nipples is different. So what we're gonna do with Tiffany is we're gonna focus on three different things. Number one is after a few feeds per day, we're gonna do a saline soak, which is just salt water and warm water, like, or salt and warm water. It's one half teaspoon to eight ounces of warm water. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna apply that soak to her breast a few times a day after feeding. So number one, the salt will help cleanse the wound and it will also help um, close and heal the wound as well. And then number two, she's actually using hydrogel pads. And I call hydrogel pads the magic gel pads because they truly, truly make a difference when the skin has been cracked. So a lot of times people are using nipple creams. Once the skin is damaged and skin is cracked, I'm a really big fan of using the gel pads to facilitate healing and then just foregoing the, the creams at that time. And then number three, we're gonna actually switch up the position that she's latching in every feed, just so that, you know, sometimes she's gonna compress this way and then sometimes it'll compress this way. And then in football hold, it's actually gonna compress that way. So it'll help kind of minimize the compression points, even though she's still going to the breast with every single feed. It gives mom a little bit of chance to heal in between.